okay youtubers so it's currently the next few days um i am currently in Kohl's and i am picking up on my order and you guys are aware when you go into the store you always might see something and purchase something else but right now i'm on a budget because i'm trying to move but i feel like i should have worn my shades <laughs> so i won't um see so i can miss out on some stuff if i do see something that i'm interested in um but i'm trying to find the customer service section so i can be able to pick up my online order and i just pay, um purchased some like flatware silk silk flatware silverware from Kohl's and they actually got some house shoes but let's see is these hard yeah I can get them online for um a lot cheaper but um okay so self pickup is over here so I just got some silverware here because the silverware that I have at home currently is a little bit um cheaper than the one that I purchased now it's not metal it's like easier to bend so yeah I just wanted to get some and plus I'm gonna move so it's like I want some new stuff when I do move hi yes so I'm picking up an online order okay so I currently picked up my order and I picked up so now I am headed to JC Penny and I saw like a um, clearance aisle downstairs and I want to check that out before I go to JC Penny. I mean it won't hurt to look. So yeah. It is so nice and organized in here. So uh, I cannot wait to I start shopping for my kids. I miss that. <laughs> I haven't really shopped for them how I normally shop for them. And um in a while now. So I'm excited to start re-shopping back for my kids. So I am currently looking at the Clarence Owl. They have a lot of summer stuff for sale and this is like the perfect time to be purchasing summer stuff due to me finna move in a area where it's warm 365 days. So, but it's like when I buy something and I see something and it just add up and it be like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? So, yeah. But, um really don't see I mean I see some things but it's really not to me in my opinion a clearance price I think that's how much a regular price is so I mean I guess you can gotta look through it these checker shorts is actually cute to come back I see a few things that I like but I definitely have to come back so this is how the clearance or the clearance that they have here 
and then you see they have like all shorts but the prices that they have on some of them see like these checker shorts is actually cute and these fifteen dollars but like the sale price for the clearance price on the majority of these shorts is like twenty dollars twenty two dollars and i feel like that's just a regular price that's not a clearance price so yeah but this is what i have for today i just have my i don't know if i got this ja this jacket from old navy or where i got this jacket from but i just rolled up the sleeves because it's the new style so anyway i got this white old navy jacket on i just got on a white t-shirt and i got on my i think i got these jeans from old navy as well too and then i have my white sandals i think i got these from burlington's or tj maxx i don't even know so, and then I have my Adu purse on. And that's just my attire for today. Simple, nothing over the top or anything like that. So, so yeah. I'm about to head to JCPenney now and we're gonna see what they're looking like. So now I'm currently in the mall. Hey, this is JC Penny, so I can pick up my other online purchase that I had made online. And that's it because look, if I parade through this mall and stop in these stores where all this nice stuff is in, I'm gonna be broke. And I don't wanna go broke. At this present time, I don't want to go broke buying um, appearance, you know, clothing, shoes, things of that nature. So, yeah, if I had a choice to go broke, which I don't want to go broke at all, but if I had a choice to go broke, I will go broke. home mortgage car payment you know things in that type of nature so i'm gonna turn y'all around so y'all can see what it's looking like in this mall it's the end of art <laughs> Where you pick up an online purchase? It'll be downstairs. Okay, thank you. So, let me get back with y'all. Okay, YouTuber. So it's currently the next day. Um, so I just wanted to show y'all the things that I have purchased during my outside slight um shopping because like i said i'm not trying to like go shopping how i need to or want to because i'm in the process of relocating and that's like a main priority to me so when i do purchase stuff online it'd be stuff that is in need or you know versus something that i want so like doing this relocation it's like okay some things that i have in my current residence that is a bit old and you know before i move it into a new location it's like you know i just feel like it's a need to purchase something new you know because when you're moving into a new home it's like okay you you don't want things that look old you know into your new home you don't unless you know you just have to do what you have to do but I mean, no one wants that. So, I mean, as far as like my furniture, as far as like, I, I know when I do move, I can just add on to it because I really didn't even have the furniture that I have now. I haven't even had it for like two years. 
even with my bed in my room. I had it for some years, but it's still fresh and brand new. It just needs to be like cleaned. That's it, you know. So things like that, it's like, okay, I can just add on to that. Um, so I'm not really focused on that, but little sentimental appliance, well, not appliances, sentimental little things um, like um, kitchen, you know, um, dishes, things within the kitchen or the bathroom or things like that. And I also have to uh, add on to my daughter um, room because the room that she has now is a little bit smaller than the room that I am about to relocate to. Um, due to like the room that she's in, it's a bit smaller because it's not really like a bedroom. It's just made into a bedroom because um, I'm currently in an apartment right now. So it's it's not a large apartment. It's a nice size apartment for, like I said, for two individuals or maybe three. But the room that she's in is like, it's not made as a bedroom. So the, the, thing, the, the bed and everything that's in her room is, um, it's really not enough space for her to maneuver. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the where I'm relocating to her room is going to be an actual normal size that, you know, I can add on to her room. Um, so I will be adding on to her room. And then as far as my son room, um, it's not even um, set up yet because my mom was living with me and she did relocate. So I didn't even purchase or do anything to his room just yet because I feel like he's old enough to make a decision on what he wants and what he like in his type of style, you know, versus me getting things that I prefer for him to want. And this is his room where he's going to be sleeping at and comfortable in. So I just feel like at a, he's like, he's 15. So he's going to be 16 in about a month and a half. So I just feel like at that age bracket, you should have a decision and choice of interest within your room for you to be comfortable with. So that's why I didn't get anything or even start with his room just yet. So once we relocate, because um, once we relocate to the new location, um, then I will start as far as um, getting his room set up. The whole thing is I don't want to, another thing is I don't want to do too much of purchasing right now where I'm at due to me will be traveling my belongings to where I'm relocating at. And it's like, I just don't want to travel with a lot of baggage, if that makes sense. It's like, okay, I'd rather tr travel with, uh, you know, what I have now and then add on once I'm at that current new place, you know, because it, it'll be like doing too much, you know what I mean? And the moving process that I had throughout my throughout my past, it's like, okay, movers is, is, a, is a bit expensive unless you might catch a sale or catch something, somebody that you know or however, but... You know, I'm so independent. It's like, you know, I'll just be focusing on me doing what I need to do. So it's just, yeah, that's why I'm at with that part. Um, And, and like I said, I got to add on to my room too and add on to like my dining room, living room, just things I got to add on to overall that's going to be in a working process. And some things that I'm going to change as far as, you know, curtains, colors to add on and, and just the whole update house overall. So anyway, I noticed, uh, I mean, y'all should notice yesterday, um, I had went to the mall cause I had purchased some things online and the things that I had purchased online was some kitchen things. And I still need to add on to kitchen things and add on to like a bathroom, bathroom as well. Um, so this is like some similar small things. This is not like nothing heavy or big to be so like, how's I'm going to move this or how's it, you know, it's not like that. So I'm going to show y'all a few things that I had purchased. Um, cause I know I mentioned, or I might not have mentioned through this, um, vlogs that I have that I have brought Gotham cook set wear and it came with the pot sets and it also came with bakeware so it was like a total of two hundred dollars and when i first saw the video it was like you know easy cooking you know like as far as whatever you're cooking it's easy to clean um i don't like to make my life hard honestly and it's not that i just want to take the easy way out it's just like that 
is adding on a lot of stress and anxiety that's not necessary or that I wouldn't prefer to want to live life. I don't think no one would. So I don't want to get a pot set. Um, the, the, the whole reason why I got that pot set is because it was easy to clean, easy to wipe off. Um, it's non-stickable and things like that. And then it came with a bake rest. So, you know, all that was like $200. And I liked it the color too. It was like a burnt orange or something like that. And that was the thing that I was going for with my kitchen, but things didn't turn out that way. But, um, yeah, so I purchased that, but I had it for some time now, for some years now. And honestly, the way that the pot set look, it should not, I'm going to show y'all how it look. It shouldn't look like that. Now, I noticed with the apartment that I'm in now, when I cook stuff, I have the iron on medium and it'll the iron turner will say medium but if you look at the iron itself it's really hot so i'm like okay i don't know if that heat burns the the pot itself or you know because i'm like how do my pot say i bear i don't cook like that you know because within the time of me purchasing that cookware my kids were not with me so i wasn't really cooking on a daily basis how i normally do when my kids be at home so i cook frequently or whenever i have an appetite which is not often throughout this you know throughout the time so i don't know how my cookware turned out like that um it's weird i'm like okay it, it's just weird i don't know if i know it's weird but i'm like did somebody else use these pots or come in i don't know but this is that's ha that's a lot what i'm saying like that's a lot i'm it's not like i'm a selfish person I just don't like to share things that I buy for myself. I don't like to share because people that you share with, they just take full advantage of your of your things that you're sharing because they can buy that for themselves. And it's like they return your stuff after using it or sharing it so damaged to the point that you have to work and come out your pocket to buy something again. You know, and it's like that has a lot to do why people do not like to share the things that they buy for themselves. You know, so anyway, I had spoke to my mom and I'm like, look, if you want the pot set, you can, you know, because my mom a little bit old school. So old school people know how to use certain things to make things look good or really don't really care as long as they have a cookware, you know. I don't know, you know, so I did mention that to her. If she wanted, she wanted, if she don't, she don't. But I'm going to show y'all how the pot set look after, let me see. I had it when I was in Wisconsin. I had it for about a few years, a couple of years. Not a couple, because a couple is two. So a little bit over a couple of years. And I really don't cook like that. So I really don't feel like it should have turned out like that. I really feel, which is weird, that somebody else been using my pot set while I'm at work or something. I don't know. But this is how the pot set look. So a lot of my pans, like I don't know if you can see the inside, and this is this is clean. I mean, obviously you can see that it's clean. Excuse my nails, but you can see that it's clean because, you know, it's so clean that it actually ch changed into the color that it was purchased to be. So yeah, I mean you can see all of that. It's just like. And I use SOS pads and SOS pads cleans thoroughly. So if it doesn't clean after an SOS pass or after Dawn dish soap, then it is what it is. And then the back, oh my gosh. Like I never cook like this. This is not me at all. I promise you guys, this is not me at all. I don't know how, like I don't understand. So I'm like, this is a bit expensive for you know, pot sets to look like this. And I, I get after so many years, you have to, it, it becomes to a point to buy some, some other pots. I get things don't last forever. I honestly get that, but it all depends on how, how you, how frequently you use your items when you purchase them. If you don't use them like that, then it shouldn't be necessary for them to turn out like this. It shouldn't. And I don't, so I don't get that far. And then this is the top. And I, I really noticed that when I cook stuff, 
the the hand the handle and everything is hot so you still need a towel to grab it so you know my daughter and my son is at the age that they cook little sentimental things other than just microwave and it's like i don't want them to like touch this and you know burn a hand or nothing something like that so that's what i had looked into when i purchased the new pot set too but yeah you have to have a towel to hold it because it'd be still hot right here and you know your hands is not too good for that so but yeah the marks right here i tried to look it's just still there and this is clean even though so i'm like look two of my pants look like that the smaller one look like that but my bigger pants doesn't look as bad i might can get away with keeping those but those are definitely garbage i don't even think my mom would want them honestly <laughs> um and then i thought about it like man i can get spray you know a can of spray and spray it and you know cover it up but nothing will cover up um if i was to do that if the handle will still remain hot and also the back part is just it's nothing to cover up with that. It wouldn't even look right. It wouldn't look like a, a, it wouldn't look, you know? So I'm like, you know what? Things, you just have to accept things once it's, once it's done, it's done. It's nothing more you can do about it other than buying something, else, something newer. It is what it is. So that's why I'm at with the pot set. So I did purchase a new pot set. And then I also purchased some silver, some um, flatwares, sil uh, silverware, flatware. So um, I noticed with the the purchase that I did, I think I got my from TJ Maxx or something like that. And it's like twenty twenty five dollars or something like that. But they are bendable, you know. And I noticed that. So um, I don't know what it was that I was doing, and it bent a little slightly. And I noticed it. And I'm like, I don't like that cheapness in it because it's like, okay, now I have to buy it again. That's why I don't like to buy cheap things. You know, I know people be at a at, at a, a point that they have to do what they have to do at the at the momentary time. I get that part. But if you can be able to hold and add on to something that's going to last a long time to keep you from consistently spending your money, then that is very helpful because you'll be wondering like, man, I don't even have no, it's because you have to keep buying the same thing. And it's like, that's wasting your money. But I get things like that is for those that don't have it, you know? So it all depends on your living situation, your, your, you know, your lifestyle or your living situation, because I'm at a point, I don't want to buy nothing that's going to make me buy something within so many months or whatever. I want something that's going to last, you know, I don't, and I don't just damage my stuff. I keep up with my stuff. I keep my stuff clean, organized. And, you know, if I do decide to share, which I don't ever just decide that for anybody, it's like I want my stuff to be like that. So, you know, when you're sharing, you know your stuff is not going to be like that. I mean, because why don't they have it? You got to ask yourself, like, if you're as if you want me to share something that I have, why don't you have it? It's something that you not keeping up or something that you're not doing right with why you don't have it. So you have to keep that in mind when people try to share, share, share. No. Now, take it how you want it. Take it how you want it. My answer is no. So anyway, um, I brought some silver. I'm going to show y'all. Then I also... Um, misplaced my ring well for, first of all i was told when i first purchased this ring that it was a size eight and during the time of me purchasing this ring i was a, a little smaller i was a size like five or something so i don't know how i was told that but i was so i had misplaced this and then it, it is a little bit tight a little bit you know it's not comfortable to and then it's i had this ring for so long that it's like okay it's time to add on you know so um, I had misplaced it, but in, anyway, I ended up finding it later on and I'm like, you know what, that's just telling me that I need to just, it's time for something to add on. It's time for something new. So I went and purchased me another ring and it, during the purchase, I purchased it on the holiday. You know, I like to catch things, you know, especially nice, real things. I like to try to catch it on the holiday because they have things for sale versus spending so much money of the actual price for the items I, a lot of people shop like that i'm one of those um so i'm, I'm gonna show y'all the ring that i had purchased 
um i do need to buy me like a watch and add on to other accessories too but it's just like i don't want to buy fake things or things that's just for a picture or for right now and gonna break within a few weeks and it's like okay i just spent my money for nothing when i could have added that on to something that's gonna last so that's why i don't have every little thing <laughs> that that's a lot to do with why you know because i don't like fake things i don't like cheap things i just don't like it just not my style nothing personal with nobody that does that's just how i am so i did purchase that and then i had to purchase me another lock um unfortunately i know i'm in the process of relocating but i can always bring this lock to me to wherever i'm relocating but um i had to purchase me another lock because I feel like I'm going crazy because I know when I sit things and everything, things still should be how I said it before I leave the house and come back. So um, I'm not going to get into that story. Just know I purchased another lock and um, I possibly will show that. I don't think it's necessary to show that or whatever the case is. But let me show y'all my cookware. Actually, I'm going to show y'all the silverware set that I got. And when you buy stuff from Kohl's, they have good discounts. Because I know Kohl's is a bit expensive. Depending on what you're buying from them. But they, they things are very, you know, it's valuable. So, you got to look at that too. Um, and then, even though it's, it seems like it's expensive, they give you, you know, once you do business with them, they give you... They show their appreciation, put it that way. I'm not going to get all into details, but they show their appreciation to make you come back and to purchase more, you know, and the things that you're purchasing from them is valuable. You have to look at that too. So anyway, my flatware silverware, this is what I purchased. It got the little holes at the bottom. I like that. And it's, it's metal. It's not bendable, which is the whole goal of me buying the silverware. So, um, this would, these were at a reasonable price. Um, so they only had like three left. So I got all three of them. Eventually I will purchase and add on to them. So that's like 18 pieces, I think. So eventually I want to at least have like 12 more pieces to add on to it because I'm just a family of four and my youngest really is not ready for these type of silverware so I have to buy her own personal you know toddler silverware for herself but as far as the three older ones which is myself and my two older kids we will do this so I can I eventually I'll add on to at least one or two more to this but this is the silverware that I have purchased and I'm not going to open it until I move into my new place but I just decided to show y'all so yeah, it's this is real nice. It's metal, got the holes at the bottom. You can find this at Kohl's. Anybody can. Um, if they still have it or if they don't, they will restock. You just got to be patient because obviously I was patient. I had been saw this, and I think when I first saw this, they were sold out. But I just kept checking in, and eventually they had them, and I purchased it. And it's still not enough. You know, I still need to add on to it. But I like it and my interest is in it so bad that I went ahead and got what's available. And I'm just going to choose and decide to wait to add on to it. Because this won't be enough, honestly. Um, You know, usually when you buy silverware, you at least need like 24 pieces or more or something like that. Just to make your, your silverware draw looks a little bit full. Or when you using stuff and you decide to, you know, not wash your dishes every single day or every single four hours or however you wash your dishes and you just want to eat something else you know so all that matters so that's what i purchased from Kohl's. anybody can go to Kohl's and purchase it okay fyi <laughs> um and then i had to purchase a bit heavy but i got this food network i think i got this i think i got this from Kohl's too or did i i don't know where i got this from but i know Kohl's have it macy's have it if you just google it 
you'll find it. Various stores has it. You know what I mean? It's not like it's just one person. Everybody has it. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, this is the full network flatware. I didn't even open it. I don't want to open it just yet until I actually relocate. So it comes with the two pots, pans, big pots. Um, so anyway, actually it's a 10 piece set. It comes with a covered saucepan. It comes with two covered saucepans, three quarts, one part, five quart. It comes with a six quart covered stock pot. And it comes with two skillets and a covered saute pan and they all come well majority of them come with the tops and i like the tops too and i like the handles because it has a way of not realizing that they're hot when you do cook so i love that that's the whole purpose of me purchasing this cookware and like i said every store has it if you just put in google you can go to any store that has it honestly <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not the only one that has it. So please don't take it like, oh, she's the only one though. No. Google it, every store has it, I promise you. That's the same thing I did. I did the same thing, you can too, trust me. So anyway, yeah, I purchased that and um, I like the tops too because you can like, you know, fold it or however, I just like it. So that was one of the things that I had purchased as well. And then, And then I had um, purchased this from JC Penny. Like I said, this <clears throat> this ring. So it's not all fancy anything but it's it's really it's i like it you know i have a little bit it's not too doing too much you know because some people just like oh that's not enough it's not all the you know i don't do too much you know what i mean it's 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 okay for me i like it obviously so yeah so i had purchased this And it's so comfortable. So that's how it looks. And it's a square. I love square things. I'm kind of not really favoring circles. I just love squares. I don't know. Something about the square. This one is a square too. This one has more on it. But yeah, so I'm just adding on to my little collection, you know, because um, honestly, I never, I can't add on as fast as others because, you know, I have other responsibilities and it's just how life is. You know, I'm not trying to rush into nothing. Nothing is going anywhere. You know, when it's meant for me, it's meant. When it happened, it happened, you know? So it's not a big rush thing. You know, it's not the end of the world. So I love it. I like it. Hopefully you guys like it too. Comment and let me know what you like. I love it. So, in the lock that I purchased, I don't think it's necessary for you guys to, I mean, worry about this, but I will be getting my kids and they will be doing homeschooling, so I want to make sure that when I do go to work, that they will be safe at home, not bothered, if that makes sense. I'm just going to say that. Um, so, I did purchase this lock. Um, it's actually a keyless lock. I just feel safer 
purchasing the keyless lock versus having a key. Um, everybody is not in this situation, so it's not necessary for those to proceed like this unless it's just something you decide to do. The situation I'm currently in, um, I have to make sure wherever I'm located to or make sure my home is extra secure and safe. <laughs> So, I'm going to just say that. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> I purchased this lock. And um, hopefully, I don't have to return it or have any issues like I've been having. Because, like, me and Amazon is not on good terms. So, I don't think I will be going back to Amazon at all. Um, we're not in a good relationship. I know a lot of trillion of you guys shop at Amazon frequently and don't have any problems Toodles to you guys. You know, like I said, everybody's different. So unfortunately on that, I'm different. I have issues with Amazon. Me and Amazon don't get along. We don't like each other. <laughs> so good thing that they have other businesses in other places and they're not the only ones, right? Point of the matter. So um, I'm about to install this lock and that's the end of my vlog today. Um, I just thought I will update a vlog. Um, and just give y'all um what's going on i'm st with myself i'm still trying to relocate and got a lot of stuff going on so hopefully um i don't know hopefully y'all look at this vlog comment if y'all have any other suggestions or decisions or questions or opinions or thoughts or whatever comment let me know and i'll catch y'all on another vlog